Martin, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I've got something in my pocket to show you. It's not very big, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It's a book. It's a big book called, not big, it's a book called Lucky Dumbers. And it's all about people who have won the lottery. And not normal people, they're sort of crazy people. And once they've got all these millions of pounds, they waste it, they do silly things. Uh, they, they sort of dig a hole in the garden and they just put the money in the hole and then they buy a, a bit of land on the moon and they just buy all, all stupid things. What would you do if you won the lottery, Michael? Uh, buy a Zoltar machine. Oh, that, that's a good <laughs> shout. Robin, what would you do with some money? I want a light up dance floor. A light up dance floor, <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're two very good answers. I, I, I can't <laughs> criticise that. Do you know what I would do if I won the lottery? I would get an outfit just like Michael's. I'm just waiting for my three numbers to come in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I got this from the train station earlier today. Uh, yeah, it's a good read on the train. Uh, yeah, and it's just called Lucky Numbers. Have a look through there. And it, it's all about crazy people and the silly things they've done with their money there. Now, what I want you to do between you, I'm going to try something here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, I'm going to get you to choose a page number between you. So, Michael, could I ask you to give me a number between zero and nine? Which number would you like? Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, Robin, could you choose? It could be the same number if you want to. A number between zero and nine? Two. Two. So you've got the choice now, Robin, as you've got the book there. Do you want page 27 or do you want page 72? 72. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm just going to move, turn away a little bit. Turn to page 72 and it should be a, a crazy story about a crazy person who's won the lottery on page 72. Yeah. Yeah? And uh, have a look how much that person won. Have a look at the check there. There should be the amount they won there. It's quite a lot of money, yeah. isn't it? Could you send that over to me? Oh, I'm having trouble there. I'm not getting a connection. I think you're distracted by my balls, aren't you? Yeah, there should be the balls that the person won the lottery with there. So we'll try them first of all. So the six numbers that this person won it there, they should be on there. Actually, this person's either a male or female, is that right? Yeah. And I get this right 50% of the time. I've got a feeling this person, it was a woman, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, I did well. Could you find the lowest numbered ball there for me? So have a look at all six balls at the moment mm. and, and choose the lowest one there for me. And what I want you to do is send the colour of that ball over to me, is that okay? Mm. I think you need to send it a bit harder. I don't think you're doing your job very well. I'm getting like, uh, it might be your jeans, but I'm getting like a, a blue colour, is that right? right? Is it a blue yeah. ball, yeah. Uh, could you concentrate on the number for me and send the number over to me? It's a two digit number, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm only getting one digit. Is it the same number twice? It is. It is. is it number 11? <laughs> oh, go to the next highest ball up, see if we can try that one. Yeah. Uh, again, that's a two-digit number, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's a blue ball. Again, is it number 17? It is. Oh, hand the book over to Michael. Let's let him have a go there. So we've got two blue balls. Uh, could you find, is there a pink ball on there? Yeah. There is. Yeah. Oh, a bit scary. Could you, could you <laughs> send it over to me? Uh, it's got, I'm getting like two even numbers. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Is it number 26? Indeed, oh, yes. looking yes. good. Go on, we'll try the next one. Because I've got a feeling... I'm, getting, I'm not sure, I'm getting a bit of green coming through. Is, it, is there a green ball on there? There is. A green ball, could you have a look at that number? Look at the number and then look me in the eyes. Right. Yeah, I'm getting like, I can see like a, a three in this eye and like a two in that eye. Is it number 32? Indeed, yes. But I'm getting more green as well. Yes. A green, yeah. Is it, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Green, look at it again, is it green 37? Yeah. Yeah, yes. and, yeah, and, uh, is there one more ball to go? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it a yellow ball? Yes. Send that over. again. I, I, it's two digit number. But I'm only getting one digit again. Is it four, four, forty four? It yes. is. Hand the book back to Robin because we <laughs> we tried to get that connection at the start, didn't we? Of the mount did. that was on there. But uh, what I need you to do? Could you just rub your finger across the check for me? That's it. And just put your finger on mine there. Oh. Oh, I like that. There we go. <laughs> Nothing to do with the magic effect whatsoever. I just do like that. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a feeling, actually, I'm going to write this down. Because something's coming through quite vividly there. I'm going to write the amount down that I think might be on the check. I don't want you to look just at the moment. And hopefully... Yeah, it's coming through quite clear. 
Okay. What is the amount that this person won? 16,400,000. And if we look on there, you can actually see <laughs> that it's 16 million. Four hundred thousand pounds. I'm going to try one more thing. <laughs> I've got a feeling that the person that won it was it Kelly Fleming. It was Kelly yeah. Fleming, and she she won it on a on a date, didn't she? I'm going to try and, and just get the date. Look at the date, and just then then look at me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think she had a good Christmas one year, didn't she? <laughs> I think Kelly Fleming. If if I'm right, she, oh, I'd better write this down just to make sure. Okay, we're trying this now. I'm committed, it's down there. I've got to put on the other side of that. Can you tell me the date that Kelly Fleming actually won her money on? 6th of December, 2005. There we go, and if we look on there, 6th of December, <laughs> 2005. But she didn't waste her money, didn't she? If you read the whole story, she invested it quite wisely, didn't she? Her and her sister, I think they had boob jobs, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. So, so you've done a lot of confidence, and you've done my confidence a bit of good for doing this magic trick. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>